Okay, guys, this is the uh, second part of the Wiki Robot tutorial, and what I've done is I've um, I've just took this uh, this first part and uploaded it to YouTube. So I'm going to use this um, I'm going to use this URL here to backlink to. So we're going to actually test it on this uh, the first part of the video that you watched already. So. Let's uh, give our project a name. Let's call it Wiki Robots. Okay, so it says there is no um, no sites for selected project. So I'm not 100% sure how you're going to be getting your sites, you know, because there's different methods and that. But what I've done, if you went for the OTO, you know, with Joshua's link, you'll get. Um, sites off uh, off Joshua to use. You know, uh, failing that, you can go to the wiki base, and there are a hundred sites in there already, as we've as we've, already, as we've already spoke about. So what you do is just highlight the top one, and then uh, drag your cursor down to the bottom there, and then press Shift, hold down Shift, and then just click on the bottom one, and it will highlight all of them, and then you can click uh, on Transfer to Project. So now I've created a project, I can go to Wiki Robot here and just transfer them all into the project. So if I go back to home now, I'm going to have a hundred sites in here. Yep. But what I've um, what I do as well is I just transfer them from the last project I did. So here, this is my last project that I've done, and you know if I scroll down I've got uh, 2182 wikis so I highlight the bottom one drag that cursor up to the top there hold the shift down and then just press the top one that will highlight all of them right click and then I can copy uh, selected sites to project and it'll ask me what project and just go wiki robot okay so now if I go back over to wiki robot I should have what 2200 and something in there now yeah 2282 so what I want to do though is just um, I can remove sites um, sorry remove duplicate sites here so I can remove duplicate URLs or duplicate domains. I'm going to remove duplicate URLs. I don't mind posting twice on the same site, um, but not on the same URL. I don't want the same URL. Just in case, I mean, because I just copied from the Wikibase 100 free one, so I might have them in there already. So remove duplicate URLs. And uh, let's just see if it removed any or not. Yeah, it removed them 200, uh, 100 basically that I just put in because I've already got them in there somewhere. So, um, obviously up here you can add sites, click on there, you can add it. Um, you can remove sites, uh, remove selected sites, remove all sites, uh, remove sites where registration failed, email verification failed, posting failed, link verification failed, etc, etc and uh, you can test the sites as well and remove the dead sites you know obviously over time some of them become dead so you can just click on there every time you do a new project and test them and remove all the dead sites um, you know you don't want to be trying to post to something that's not there uh, if right clicking on on anything in here as well gives you this menu here as well um, again remove selected sites open sites in a browser now th this is this is something that I struggled with when I first started using it. That when I mean it's th this option here, open post, it's not highlighted at the moment because we haven't posted to anything. But once you post it, in fact, let me just go over to here. Once I've posted, I mean I've posted to this site here. So if I highlight that, right click and come down, I can just click on there to open post because believe it or not. The actual 
the actual um, the actual URL you see in here isn't the um, isn't where your wiki is posted to. So that one actually f it said that it wasn't there, and it says that because link verified is it's got an X next to it, so it hasn't verified a link, so it didn't actually post on that one. So I mean, just to give you an idea, what you can do as well is you can. I mean, this is on a project I've already done as well. Bearing in mind, you can click on these and it will sort them from, you know, uh, accounts created and accounts not created. Basically, so you've got all these X's here. If you scroll down, scroll down. You've got all these X's. It's probably better off to do it the other way around, actually. So I've got. Oh, there we go. So I've got you know 25 here. It starts from 25 on accounts created. Let's just go link verif verified because all the same. You just click on there and it will it will sort them so you can actually count them. So let me just scroll down and there we go. I've got this is where it starts. Link verified 137. So if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There we go. So, 137, and I've got 707 there. Pull my calculator out. That's 507. Um, that I've, I've, I've. The, there's a link that's verified. So I've got 507 wiki posts that the link is verified on. So yeah, you can sort them into uh, you know from ones that are verified and ones that are not verified, as you can see there. Obviously, you've got the PR of the um, of the sites as well. This one here is a PR two, and there's a PR three. There's you know there's loads of different PR zeros. You've got fours and fives in there as well, like um, there's a three, four. There's a four there. So then you've got the captures as well. This is just to say that there was a capture done. And then you've got the platform, you know, which actual platform it was on, Dolk Do 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 Wiki and Media Wiki as well. So let's go on to the project. So this is our new project here, yeah. So I've imported the uh, the wikis. And uh, up here as well, I believe you can add, a, add it from a text. No, you can just paste them straight into here as well, or you can import from a file uh, or import from another project. But yeah, you can just paste them straight into here if you want. And then you've got some options down here about you know don't add sites that are blacklisted, um, add existing sites to the project, sites with the same URL, you know all them kind of options down there before you actually import. So what we want to do, we've got these two tabs here that we're going to be working with really. This is the, the sites and the project settings. So once you've imported the sites, go on to project settings. And this is, um, I mean, I, I, it's really quick this is, you know. What you can do is you just click on here and it will populate the username, the password and the, and the real name. And it's all in spin text as well. So obviously it spins, you know, each account it does, it gives a different name and, and, and what have you. So you can test the account settings if you want. There you go. That's that's all good. And then you can go into email settings. So what you can do is you can use um, if you click on there, create email account. You can create an AOL email account. Um, I'm not going to go through that because what I do, I find a lot more successful is if you've got like a throwaway domain, just just any old domain. I mean, if you haven't, just go register one. It's only a couple of dollars. And what you can do is you can use the email account on your domain. Um, and what you can do is you can set up a catch-all uh, email box, and um, you know you can then spin the email that you have. So it just keeps creating different emails for you all the time, and you don't have to worry about it. So what that means, catch-all. So say I've got um, you know Stacy at StacyFlick.com. Um, I can just put anybody's name in there. I can put uh, you know Bob at StacyFlick.com, Tom at StacyFlick.com. Any name at all, 
and it will all go to the same inbox so it catches all of them and it will just go to the same inbox so you then put the variations in spin text and it will just you know every time you come to use wiki robot you've got fresh emails and the reason why I'm using like a domain email is because you get more success rate than using the free ones you know so some of these will block uh, free accounts but you can go ahead and use the free accounts so to yourself if you haven't got got that and it's quite self-explanatory set up um, an AOL account let's just create one now just put the capture in there and then you've got to go to you got to go log into the AOL um, email account and change the spam settings so you don't get any of this these emails going into your spam box there it says here as well look your AOL account was successfully created but spam settings could not be set to off please log in to AOL and set the spam settings to off and manually okay so then you obviously take the user name password and email go log in on a browser and change the spam settings um, if you don't know how to do that just google it, it is it, oh, that's how I found it to be honest I just googled it and it was, it's, it'll tell you tick this box here as well delete messages from server so that just keeps the inbox um, clean definitely if you're using your own domain delete messages from server otherwise uh, you know it's just going to keep building up and building up and building up anything else just leave as default so as I say I don't use this um, I use uh, my own my own throwaway email address okay so once you've um, logged into your cPanel <coughs> You want to go to your uh, email accounts and just go down to your email accounts. Uh, let me just see which one it is. This one here. So you click on more here. Yeah, you can go to configure email clients. Yeah. So obviously you have to set up this. Um, set up your email account first to do that uh, you just put in the details there it's drop down of all your different um, email uh, sorry your, your domains that you have so just put in there I'll just call it all just call it all give yourself a password password again and then just click on to unlimited and then click create account so once you've done that you'll see that it is down here and then you can go to um, configure email client and scroll down there and this will give you all of your settings um, to input into wiki wiki robot so basically your incoming pop server your outgoing mail and all that kind of stuff so basically you just want to grab this information Fucking highlight the thing. Let's just copy that. Go to Wiki Robot. Um, mail, I believe that's it. Goes in there. So once you've done that, um, let me just go back to my email client. See what the pop is. Okay, so the pop three port is one ten. So I'll just put that into there as well. And then the income pop server is mail dot and then at your domain. And then the actual email is whatever you want to call it here. This is you know where it's going to be. Uh, you can just make up any old name, but then obviously put your at domain name there. And the account username is whatever you set it up in your um, in your C panel. Um, and then obviously the password is the password of the uh, of the um, 
login. So then you can just click on test email settings. Okay, it's saying could not connect to the mail server. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think it was to do with this uh, server requires an encrypted uh, connection SSL. I didn't need that switched on, so I'll just switch that off. Uh, but yeah, everything's everything's all cool. Um, and just obviously, just test. Click here just to say, just to test. Email login was successful. You need that to happen because otherwise, you're not going to be building any. Uh, well, you're going to be registering on any accounts otherwise. So once that's done. Um, you can go on to content. So before we continue with this, uh, I'm going to say click on the uh, the logo at the top there to go to the next video. I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to break this down into into another video just to give yourselves a break and me a break as well. Okay, speak to you in the next video.